This little discussion is entitled Working in Groups and Why All the Bother, brought to you by the infamous Dr. Dog. Now, I want to remind you, friends, that uh, sometimes it's a little easier just to work by yourself than to work with others, but there just aren't many occupations that operate in that manner. I guess you could go join the monks up in the mountains in the Himalayas and live in a cave by yourself, but most of the time that's not how it works. Courses require that you develop the ability to work with others, and courses have group projects. Now, teaming, of course, is one of the most important workplace skills in this global economy, and teams generally go through three stages, and I call these storming, forming, and norming. Now, the storming stage is when you're trying to get control of what's going on. Who's going to be in charge? What are the rules going to be? How's it going to operate? You know, it's a shame that we can't just all get along. But unfortunately, we just have to go through that stage of, of storming. We've got to get this thing, set the standards, and get things moving. Once we get through the fighting stage, which I hope you will move through very quickly, you next move into the forming stage. This is when a group begins to operate in the manner that a group should operate. And after you go through the forming stage, then, of course, the next stage is norming. That's where you've set your rules, your standards, you're operating, and people are meeting expectations. To facilitate the quality of your group work, the following are suggested. Uh, select a group leader. Somebody's got to be in charge of coordinating this stuff. Now, don't dump everything on them. Now, establish your group expectations. You get a group leader, but what do you expect of group members? When is the work due? Now, some of you are type A personalities that want it due yesterday. Some of you may be type F personalities that don't ever intend to deliver it. I suggest that you understand that if a deadline's a deadline, when it's due to me, that it's going to be due then, it better be in by then. Don't mess around and don't put up with anybody messing around. You need to set your, your due dates a couple of days before that and give adequate time to get the material together so that it can be presented. Hold everyone to the standards. Friends, this is not your average elementary high school course. Everyone has a standard here. If you don't want to work, then you're in the wrong business. These other people depend upon you just like you depend upon them. Hold everybody to the standard. And guys, if they don't want to do it, go on and leave them. Bypass them. Just don't put their name on the assignment, and I'll recognize what happened when it comes to me. Go back over that. Select a group leader, establish group expectations, and hold everyone to the standard. Now, working in groups is never easy. This is going to be one of the most difficult tasks in this course. But remember that working in groups is a critical workplace skill. Keep in mind that the dog loves you and groups are important.